Legacy. It's time to wake up and get your news on. Hi everyone, we're your new Good Morning LCA team and my name is Peyton. We have a great show planned for you today. That's right Peyton. Today is Thursday, September the 25th, 2014. Hi guys, I'm Brooke. And I'm Tyler, so let's get this party started, shall we? Let's begin with this month's character trait. The trait for September is responsibility. The definition for responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what's expected of you. And the verse of responsibility is Luke 10, 16. It says, one who is faithful in very little is also faithful in much. All right, guys, it's time to be patriotic. You know what that means? It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It's time for the news. Get ready to be informed. We've got lots of news today, so listen up. Don't you just love the book fair? We do. Remember, it will run through tomorrow. Also, tomorrow is Grandparents' Day, so be sure to wear a chapel dress. Speaking of Grandparents' Day, did you know the Spirit Shop now has grandparent t-shirts? That's right, we now have t-shirts for our legacy grandparents. These are, can be ordered online at www.legacyca.com. Check them out. Tomorrow night is the night when all the little cheer camp girls will have the opportunity to perform at halftime during the football game. If you attended the little cheer camp during the summer, you are invited to dance with the varsity cheerleaders. Wear your t-shirt and bow and meet near the field house. An announcement will be made during the game so you'll know when to go to the field house to prepare. Homecoming is coming. I love Homecoming Week, and one of the best parts is dressing up each day. Homecoming is October 6th through the 10th. Monday, October the 6th is U.S. Military or Camo Dress. Tuesday is Superhero Day. Wednesday is Tacky vs. Preppy Dress Day. Hmm, we'll get back to you on that one. Thursday is Disney Dress, so come to school in your favorite Disney costume. And of course, Friday is Green Out Day. Come to school dressed head to toe in green. It's going to be a great week, but there's more than just dressing up. At Fred Brook, we'll have fun activities throughout the week, including the homecoming pep rally and parade on Friday. Oh man, I'm so ready for homecoming week, and that's it for the news. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Sounds hot. It's time for some legacy football news. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Update. Last week, our Mighty Eagles won big over Grace Prep. The final score was Legacy 24, Grace 6. Way Woo. to go, Eagles. Woohoo! That means we're now 3-0. and um, Translation, please. That means our win-loss record is three wins and zero losses. You didn't know that? That's okay. Not everyone does. Okay. Our next game is tomorrow night against Grace Community. This game is a home game and starts at 7 o'clock. Be sure to be there. And after the game, we'll all meet at Smashburger for the fifth quarter meal. Everyone's welcome, so bring your appetite and your legacy spirit. Hey, guys, there's a lot of other sporting, sporting events happening during the week at Lexi, right? That's right. We have junior high football and junior high volleyball. There's also junior varsity football and junior varsity volleyball, plus varsity volleyball. So for all the Legacy Sports news, check out the Legacy website at www.legacyca.com. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Oh, jeez. Not again. <laughs> for Bible trivia. It's time to learn something new from God's Word. Last time you were asked, what did Moses do when he saw the Israelites had made a golden calf to worship? I'll give you a hint. He was pretty upset. Boy, you can say that again. I could, but I don't want to. Okay, the answer is, he broke the, sta the stone tablets that th with the Ten Commandments written on them. See, I told you he was upset. Time for a new question, and this time Brooke's going to give us one. Okay, Brooke, give us a question that no one will know. Uh, wow, the pressure's on. Okay, give me a minute. Oh, 
I've got one. Ready? Who helped the disciples remember everything Jesus had told them? Awesome question, Brooke. You can find the answer to this one in John chapter 14. Wait, I have another question. Peyton, we don't have time for another question. No, we do. I want to know if you're learning the books of the Bible. Is the song helping? We sure hope so because it's time to sing the books of the Bible. Today we're singing from Genesis to Amos. Now that's a long way to go. So we'll sing it several times. Ready? Genesis, Genesis Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth and Samuel, Samuel, Kings, Kings, Chronicles and Chronicles. Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon and Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, and Amos. We better do that again. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and Samuel, Samuel. Kings, Kings, Chronicles, and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon and Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, and Amos. One last time. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, Sam, Samuel, Samuel, Kings, Kings, Chronicles, and Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Psalms of Solomon and Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, and Amos. Keep practicing. Okay, that's it for Bible Trivia. Now it's time to see if you're smarter than a fourth grader. That means, are you smarter than us? Well, are you? Let's see. Wait, hold the phone. That's not proper grammar. We need to correct that. Okay, scratch that last statement. I'll try that again. Now it's time to see if you're smarter than a fourth grader. That means, are you smarter than we are? Well, are you? Let's see. Much better. Agreed. Moving on. The last question we posed was this. What does a weather vane measure? Your choices were A, rainfall, B, wind direction, or C, temperature. Did you see that Ren was trying to trick you? He was trying to get you to choose C. But is that the correct answer? Let's see the envelope, please. Yes, please. Nature's B. A weather vane measures wind direction. Don't feel too badly if you didn't know that one or if you were tricked by run. We'll give you another chance to prove you are smarter than we are. So here's your next chance to see if you are smarter than a fourth grader. Ready? What fruit is mentioned in the official nickname of the state of Georgia? Ouch, that's a hard one. But you can do this. In the world of Winnie the Pooh, think, think, think. Okay, be sure to watch next time to see if you are smarter than we are. Wow. That's it for today's show, and we sure hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, because tomorrow is Grandparents Day, we won't be taping a show for Monday. So... Our next show will be a week from today on Thursday, October 2nd. Wow, next week is October? That's impossible! Oh well, tough shout outs. Shout out to my mom, whose birthday is this, this Sunday, and my dad, who's a great baseball coach. Shout out to my little sister, and Miss Thompson's class. Shout out to Miss Brubaker's class, and my brother, in Miss Embry's class. And shout out to Presley Cake behind the camera. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye.